All right, one of the biggest issues that we have every day is dealing with other people. I hear this all the time, dealing with other people, other people's programming, uh, your friends and family, people that tell you can't do certain things, criticizing, judgment. It is constant. We see other people on media, we see movies, and we see other people's stories, and it affects us greatly. How do you deal with this? I'm going to tell you how to deal with it today. And if you stick to your guns on this, you could absolutely change your life completely and see the world very differently and start to live an amazing life. That's what you're here for, is to evolve, to move past all the things we've created here that have held us back. You don't have to be held back anymore. Are you ready? Let's go. Welcome to Landria Anka on YouTube, here to help you break through fear, live an amazing life. I was sent here, I chose to come here, to raise the frequency of the planet, one light being at a time. That's my tagline. It came to me just like that. I knew exactly what my logo should look like, and people say it looks like an iris of an eye, and I said it is. And it's also the portal, a black hole to all probabilities. And so it looks sort of like a, um, a galactic celestial um, entity, right? It's whatever you want it to be because there's an opening there for you to step into whatever you choose. And it starts with what you believe because you're a creator. So first of all, I'd like to ask you to please subscribe. Please support the channels that speak positivity, um, empowerment, uh, kindness. That's the only way we're going to change this planet is when we support and in intermingle, uh, entangle with that which opens the door for compassion that will change everything. Everything. You don't have to approve of anything in your life. Approval is not required to go into compassion and unconditional love. You don't have to say, it's okay, it's not okay. The things that we do to one another, to our planet, to animals, all of it. So I want to share this with you, and I've, I've said this in pre pretty much every single video. And that is, dealing with others is one of the most difficult things that we can be up against. And here is the challenge of planet Earth. That's the whole purpose of it. We are here in fragmented, seemingly individual um, forms. We are, we are posing as the opposite of what we are. We are actually one beautiful energy field that interacts and is one mind. It expresses itself as individual things and adventures and all kinds of things that uh, we play out here in a dense manner. But I want to share this with you because everything rests on this. Going back to the top of that pyramid, that one point of all power, that oneness, means that we have to stop acting as separate individuals that turn on one another and judge. Whenever you name another, whenever you point fingers, whenever you separate yourself because uh, in good, in bad, evil, you are in total separation, and it doesn't matter what the subject matter is. People say, well, what about the, you know, the, we talk about children all the time. I said, what about anything? What about that plastic bottle that you have that's going to kill the kids in our future who have to swim in that stuff? All right. What about it? Well, uh, what is it? A garbage truck. Uh, every minute, a garbage truck gets dumped into our ocean. Uh, I have some business colleagues who are in Bali and they were jumping off the boat and they were hitting plastic and garbage was floating around in Bali. We have to stop this. So the question is, is like, what about this? What about that? What about us? One light being at a time means me. Do you want to change your life right now? You should be living an amazing life. So what, what I'm asking you right now is to look at your life and, and ask yourself what about it you don't love? What's causing any anxiety? What's causing you to not live the life that you love? What's holding you back, you believe? Of course, it's a story. What is it? 
there's another probability that doesn't think or act like that. I want you to write it down. Write it down. What is that? Who is that person? So I'm sitting here doing my taxes. <laughs> and, um, and I thought, you know, there are things that I'm doing in my business that I don't like, that is not as organized as I'd like it to be. And I thought the form of myself that's playing out this other, this reality that I would like to change has to do different things. And so I just went and cleaned everything up, got super organized, and I'm going to have things set up in a way that's going to make my life a lot easier so that I can be more productive. I want digital explorers to be massive. Landrag.com, Breakthrough Fear. I want people all over the world to know that they have access to a portal that takes you away from everything you believe or do here that's keeping you in that low frequency of unhappiness. Write down how the other probability of you behaves. What are they doing? Because one thing we have a tendency to not do is take action. We think and believe and we want something to come to us. Where if know it is done, be that. You have to be that, which means even if you don't know how a organized accounting uh, system works. I won't know it until I start to put it into place and realize what needs to be done so that next year it's going to be a little easier for me to file my taxes. So I have to do it now and say, okay, I have to take the action because I can't just uh, leave these things out here. I have to maybe be a little bit more organized here. So what's the system? I'll find it. Um, I'll find that accountant that can do things the right way. Uh, I'll find, you know, I have to take the action and action is required. We are in a material world. So I can't dream of having a healthy body and then continue to be the person eating, you know, junk food over here. I cannot want a clean world and buy things in packaging and plastic. It's just impossible. And by the way, you guys, down in the description, I have a link, it's my affiliate link for Blue Land, and you can eliminate all the plastic with everything in your house that you use to clean or wash things. All of it. It can be done. It's, it's, it's available to us now. There's no excuse. What's the action you can take to be that new person? You know, how do I do this, Landry? I'll show you. How do you, how do you make money without destroying the planet or your health? I created a company couple months ago. It's called DigitalExplorers.net. People are learning how to create planet-conscious businesses that are healthy for themselves and everyone else, earning money doing it. We can shift over. I have to earn money. Okay, well, how about doing it in a way that is benefiting other people and yourself and, and getting up in the morning and knowing that you're healthy because you're not struggling financially uh, or stress-wise, I should say, more than anything. And we focus on that first. How about doing something you're passionate about? Because when you do that, your life will change. We have to find that for you, right? With you. Only you can decide. That. How do we find that space? It's possible. I'm here. I'm one of your teachers. I'm going to guide you every step of the way. So we're not just going to go into this spiritual space of, oh, yes, and I love everybody. I'm going to be the best I can. And how do I do this? And how do I manifest? No, we have to shift over here and say, what are the other parts of your life that aren't working? Your relationships with other people are everything. You cannot go into separation, judgment. You cannot blame anymore. You have to take 100% responsibility. If you are feeling that anxiety of what somebody else is doing, I have to take responsibility and say, how can I improve this? How can I change this world so that it no longer does these things? That people will never lo no longer want to do these things because those people who are doing horrific things come from a place of density, anger, fear, lack of love. When there's love, unconditional love in your life, you would never do the things that these people do. We have to create that world, and you can't create it by criticizing and judging them because the One and Christ said, these things you shall do and more, this you do to the least of us, you do to me. 
Judgment is one of the worst things, separation. So this planet is geared for us to think of ourselves as individuals separate, the lowest form of that. And the ultimate enlightenment and the world that we can live in now of pure peace is the opposite of that. It is extending ourselves towards one another in a way that says, you are me. We are one family. We are one energy field. And what I do to and for you, I do to myself. And so that keeps rolling and rolling and goes in motion. And that person helps another and that person helps another. And you change the mindset of somebody who thinks that wealthy people are evil or people that do horrific things are just rotten. They're not. They're equally as beautiful as you. You have to see that light and know that it, again, doesn't excuse the uh, actions of anyone. But it's your greatest teacher. It's the, it's the, the whole purpose of being here is to go up that leaderboard. How do I get out of these situations in a way that is the best and highest choice for all beings and myself? Starts with you. Every choice you make counts. Every choice, where are you coming from when you make that choice? You can stay down in that basement or you can get on that elevator and keep going up the floors till you finally get to the penthouse and you realize it always was there. It was always there. And you can change that right now. If you do this, you will go into oneness. It's okay. Break through fear, if you've read the book, tells you it doesn't go away. Breaking through fear means I can see past it and I can see the programming of the dense humanity that I no longer have to believe. It's not that difficult. When you do things and you do things unexpected that people who are expecting the worst behavior from you, you'll surprise them. You'll be shocked at the response you can get. So write down, who is that person? How do they behave? How do they think? What are their actions every day? And then I want you to start doing it, if, if you choose to become that person. Start doing it. You know, what do they do in the morning? What, you know, are they cleaner, uh, healthier? Uh, you know, are they changing all their habits? Are they more positive to other people? Are they catching those thoughts, those negative thoughts, and turning them around? You will see a transformation that will amaze you. And if you want to come over, if you looking at those online businesses, we design businesses around your passion. You decide it, and we create multiple income streams around it, and we create real business. You actually have a business strategy, a plan, marketing, all of it, and you no technology. I eliminated everything you don't love. We should love how we're earning. We should love everything in our lives, everything. And if you're not, change it right now. What is that other thing you can do that changes that situation you don't love? You have to be that person. Surprise yourself, it's possible. So I hope you'll subscribe, go get Breakthrough Fear, and if you've got my book or you're buying my book, please give me a review. It's going to help Amazon promote it. The more reviews I get, the good ones, <laughs> the better. And so far, I've had 100%. One person left a two-star. They never read the book. They gave a two-star because their um, Kindle wasn't working. <laughs> so they gave me a two-star. Never read the book. Everybody else has given me top, top reviews. I suggest you go get it. It may be life-changing for you. All right? You're whole and perfect, strong and powerful, loving, harmonious, and happy. Blessings to you, my friend. Namaste.